We caught up with Sebastian. Him and Dennett the Wallaway just marked a 218 and a half to uh, solidify their spot as the champion for the level two and the level three uh, open fraternity champion here at the NRHA fraternity. Sebastian, tell us a little bit about your run and how it felt running through those gates this evening. Man, you know, there's so much tension, like even over there in a warm up pen, that when you finally get to come over here and walk or run through the gate, it actually is a release. Then you're just trying to put your run together and go to work. You yeah. know, that's so much easier once you're actually rolling. So um, I ran in, I didn't get to run in great. My first up wasn't maybe the way I envisioned it, mm -hmm. but she backed up good and recovered herself. Turned actually better than she has in the go around. Mm -hmm. It was a little bit too, because I had the confidence that she was gonna go do it. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then on my circles, you know, I, I let her go and, and I just pitched her away and waited for it. And she mm -hmm. just finally, you know, after about a quarter of a second, checked in with me, okay, what are we doing? And then, you know, she was there the whole run for mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. um, and then around the end, it was really, really good. Good stop and a little sticky one roll back. But man, overall, she is very, very easy to show. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel, you know, preparing through the pre fraternities up until this moment that you run through the Gateway of Champions? What's what's going through your head? You know, we, ha we spend so much time on these horses and on their backs and preparing them for this moment. And then when it comes down to it, you know, what's your thought process? Where do you go? So you try to rely on your training and knowing them. That's real important to me. Like, like I feel I know this horse. I've been riding her for so long. We've spent so many hours with each mm -hmm. other mm -hmm. that I feel like, you know, at night when things don't go quite right or things mm -hmm. aren't the way I want, you know, mm -hmm. I'm pretty confident about, okay, I need to do this and this, yep. trying to solve the situation. And then on her, she's different. She's such a show horse that, you know, and that's really been a real different experience for me that even at night, if things aren't very good, yep. I don't stress it on her because I know when I put my hand down, mm -hmm. she's going to be there for me. Like, you know, I showed her on Thursday, so real early on when he first right. got here. Yep. And um, she didn't have much time to settle in and all that. But man, when I showed her, that's the best she's rolled since mm -hmm. we've been here. But that's mm -hmm. just her personality. So really prepping her on and getting ready was real easy because I knew when it comes down to it, she's going to be there for me no matter what. Right. So.